This is our wildwood. This is just a video on the roof so we know what we got. our wildwood just a travel trailer but this is their version of their TPL roof right here and what we wanted to show you see if we can show that I want to see if we get down here look how thin that is that is super thin and yeah, let's see if we can show you the difference here that's what we're trying to do show you the thickness difference here we come back a little bit. I won't be able to get it that way. We'll turn it the other way, put it over here. Let's see if you can see this right here. This is a commercial membrane that we put on, but this roofing isn't even as thick as the top layer of our roofing. This is like a 20 mil or something. It is super, super thin. So Maybe if I get a chance, I'll show you a better one. But we just want to let you know, I'll probably do a better shot for you so you can see the difference. But anyhow, we're, you can see all the, this is how thin it is too, and they've got nothing here protected. This is the decking, and you can see, he's going to pull this up. This is the decking right there, this is neat, you see. And that's what that black line is, is the decking right there. That's how quick it comes up. Pop right up. But it came in because it had a roof issue right there. Got a breach in the roof. So we're going to put a good roof on for him. He won't have that problem again. If he does, we can, in a branch really hit it, we can heat weld a patch on there. As you can see here again there's your there's your black line right there and this one doesn't meet either it's not flush we're gonna put strips over that though so you can see this one here boy they really just kind of put this one together Look at that right there it's got a good rise on it. all right so here's a better shot of this roofing right here from this wildwood so you can see just how thin that is. That is just super, super thin. This is 60 mil, commercial grade. Same product you're going to find on a hotel, you're going to find it on an office building. This is a structure membrane. I don't know if you see the little weaves in there. That's what that is. It's got structure in it. This doesn't. This is just a mat. There's no strength to it whatsoever. So, this is going to be a lot stronger. It'll have a lot more what's called tinsel strength. Tinsel strength is going down on an impact, so it'll be, have a lot more resistance to hail, branches, things like that. But that is just, that is just super thin. Looks like the vinyl that you put on your truck, the vinyl, your vinyl letters. And this is 60 mil right here. Big difference. And this piece, like I was saying, this piece isn't even as thick as the top layer of this TPO here, it's about half of that. So really, it's probably about an 18 mil or so, super thin. But that's what the RV industry does. They just put it on as cheap as they can, get them sold as high as they can. Okay, there's our wildwood. So the customer, we had mentioned some of the concerns we had about the decking. So he gave us approval to go ahead and take the decking up. And then some of the stuff we found. One of the things that we're noticing right out the rip, look how much they shied the insulation. You got a lot missing over there. Let's see, that's got to be close to about two foot. Let's see what it is. Yeah, you got 20 inches of insulation missing there. 
and then you got another foot here so we're at 32 inches or so that they've shied look at this piece some of the reasons why it wasn't lining up is because of the way they had the decking on there like right here you can see it's not hitting it's not lining up this is the center this is the center and that's where it should be and it's not so we're going to have to kind of correct some of that they just kind of put this on real quick so they pulled this here's some more you can see how they shot the insulation so we're going to see if we can get some more insulation in here for them and add that in there and then the other issues we found were the wires which are on the other side Let's see if i can get over there Look at all these filings and everything in here. Look at all that sharpness. And it's compromising the wires. Let's see if I can get around there. They're real tight. You can see that already up underneath there. So we're going to put some bushings in there. This is one that we've already done to show you. Just a little plastic bushing. It's about five cents if you buy them at Home Depot. You see? This is looking down the wall. There's the side of the coach, here's the front of it, give you an idea of where we're at. So these wires, they come up and they turn up inside this, uh, basically this attic space. But all these wires are going to get compromised. You got all these shavings in here, all these metal shavings in here. They're everywhere, so you know they cut it, and that's really sharp. So we're going to fill that in too, and we'll check everything and get all that corrected. And put it all back together, add some insulation. I'll put it together right and glue it all down you see there's not any glue on these trusses here we've got a couple of areas that they glued like right in here there's one but most of it landed on the insulation and right here as well and down in here it hit the insulation but we're going to glue it back like i said a couple of them are but what we did notice is that when they pinned the sheets they just did the edges they did the edge and they did the edge there's nothing in between these where these trusses run across. So that's why you can't see any holes from anything because there's nothing in there. And this sheet ended right here. That's why there's a couple nails in there, but all the other ones, there's nothing in them. They just did the perimeters of the uh, sheets. That's it. So we're going to get all that tightened back up for them and put all that together right. We'll keep you updated. More to come at RV Roof Install Production Studios. All right, so what we did, we added insulation. We're going to adhere it down in a second, but some of the other things we did is we put those bushings in there that need to be in there. And we got them in over here. We got them all in there. Going to reset that one a little bit. This one here, these are all in. Got to reset that one there. Then we add more insulation into it because it was missing quite a bit so we'll probably get a couple more pieces over here on the uh, the ductwork so get a couple more pieces on here on the ductwork okay so it doesn't condensate and then uh we're gonna start gluing her down in just a little bit Let's see what we got going on get some adhesive going down well, we're about ready to attack this first one.
you can't put it too thick right there, it'll puff up. You want to put enough on there to try to protect the ductwork. They didn't have anything on there. adhesive that we're using. We've got our insulation on top of the ductwork there. We've got our bushings in the side there. You can see right there those red bushings. This is our last piece. We use staples instead of nails or screws. You can see they put them in. Here's one. Then the next one, I don't know if you can see it, way up here. And you can see the grain. If you keep putting screws in there, you're going to split this piece apart. So you have to use staples. It'll hold much better anyway. We'll get up underneath here. Oh, glue it all up. Hey, these are wildwood. So we already got all strips on. We got the thing rejected, we already showed you that. Then we put the buffer strips up. You can see them underneath there. You can also see them probably faintly in the roof. You may be able to see them better down here with the way the light is. But you see them going across from side to side. We put those in as well. Those are those go where the uh, sheets of decking where they butt together, basically the joint. There's one right here. I don't know if you can see it. There's another one right here. So now what we're doing is rolling it down really good. We'll cut out the vents. We'll get it all going on. So if you notice that these coaches, if they smell a bit on the roof, it could be from Howard Socks. Yeah, That's what I'm guessing. Look at all, the, look at that all there. Yeah. <laughs> this is the wildwood. See the strips that we had under there? So we're going to glue this side now. We're going to glue this side. We'll do the same thing and roll it. All right, we're back at our wildwood. Getting our curbs on. What we're doing over here is we're priming them so we can get the good adhesion for the adhesive sealant that we use. So we put in our skylights and everything. We screwed them all down. And we just got to heat weld them together. Then over the other side, down on the workbench, what we're doing there is painting the turn bar. That'll go on this edge right here when we fold it over. It'll look nice and clean. All right, there's our wildwood. There you are. Got her all done. Nice and clean, pretty. Look at there. We've got our curves welded in. We've got our stand on the back. We've got our flashing detail on the front. Made that nice cake right there to hold up the antenna. So it's, it's all set. It's ready to go.